Are you ready? Let's take Spring Boot applications to cloud at scale. I have an app composed of Java microservices and I want to run them on Azure. This is a popular repo to a distributed version of Spring Boot Pet Clinic. You can see an API gateway as the entry point. The operator comes in and there are three microservices and one Spring Boot admin server. We're going to deploy to Azure Spring Cloud. I took three simple steps to deploy to Azure Spring Cloud. I created the service, created apps, and deployed the chart files. You see an instance of Azure Spring Cloud for the Pet Clinic uh, project. You can see the apps uh, up and running at scale right now. API Gateway is the entry point. So I go here and start clicking this particular assigned FQDN. At this point, I see the actual application coming up. I can see all my customers and their pets as well. You can see John Coleman has about two pets. I can also see my docs here. I can also start scheduling visits using this uh, system. So here, when I open up John Coleman, you can see that he has two, two pets and I can start adding a visit right here. When I deploy these jar file, I did not have to do anything other than just deploy them. Do we have enough instances of the customer service? Let me scale that out. Right now, there are about six instances. I can increase to say, say 200 instances, or maybe 500 instances. As soon as I save, it'll start scaling out. I can also auto scale. Here I'm looking at auto scale. Now I can auto scale by metric or by schedule. Let's look at the metric. In this, I'm scaling out uh, by the CPU usage, right? Now here, when the, when the, when the app usage, CPU usage goes up by 50%, I'm going to ask it to increase the number of instances by two. Similarly, when the CPU usage goes down, I'm going to ask it to, when it particularly goes down below 30%, I'm going to ask it to reduce the number of instances by two. I can also auto scale by schedule. For example, I can scale in on Saturday morning and scale out on Monday morning again. So many things are managed for you. Now, what if there's a problem with your app and how can you see what is going on? You can view the logs for all your apps and even run custom queries. You can send all your logs and metrics to any log aggregator, say Log Analytics or Elastic or Splunk. Here, I sent them to Log Analytics Workspace. Here, I'm running a query and to bring all the logs uh, for my applications, particularly the ones where I see errors and exceptions. I can quickly go through and open up one of these and understand what is uh, going on. I can also render them as a pie chart. Now, if you're a developer like me, you probably want to get your logs directly on your, on your dev machine here and say AZ Spring Cloud app logs. So when I run it, it will directly bring all the logs right to my dev machine. This way I can figure out what went wrong. In this project, I used many microservices to scale out my components individually. You can use application insights to monitor which app calls are slow so that you can tune them or know when app instances are bombed out because of some production data that came in. So here you see the API gateway is here, the calls are coming in and they're going into customer service and some calls are going into vets and some calls are going into the visit service. Now behind them, there's a pet clinic uh, SQL database, my SQL database, right? So let's zoom in. Let's say I want to drill into one of these uh, paths. So I go here and I drill into one of those paths. When I drill in, it gives me some meaningful insights. It's giving me an option to investigate the performance. I can drill into it. When I drill, it gives me all the calls that happened in the last uh, four hours. I can choose one of them and go deeper. When I go deep, it gives me the complete end-to-end -end transaction that happened along this path. And you can see all the way down to here is the SQL and the SQL query that went, um, that was executed for those particular operations. Now back to the application map. 
It gives you some incredible views of all your applications, meaningful insights, and actionable logs and metrics. Did you see 5 million calls in the last four hours? Yes, they are in production at CloudScale, running at 30 million calls per day. Now, you can simply run manual scale slider or the auto scale to multiple billion calls a day in a matter of minutes. Now, you can also go deeper into performance or failures and availability. So here you see the performance blade where all the methods are, all the operations are listed here. You can also look at the dependencies. So these are all the dependencies. So dependency calls were about in the last four hours, there were about 40 million calls, right? You can also start looking at your failures, right? Now you may have some business metrics. You can track them right here. Let's see. Uh, in this particular application, there are pet owners, there are pets and there are visits. We keep track of them. That way you have to, you can see the rhythm of your business across time. Do you have to write any code for all these monitoring? No, not at all. I simply deploy my charts, nothing else. All these data flows in effortlessly. Also, I can use any application performance tool. Right? Let me show you Nirelli. So here you see all the apps. Uh, API gateway, the customer service uh, visits, and the vets and MySQL in a, in a service map view, right? We can drill into one of these. Let me go into the API gateway. So here you see the API gateway. It shows you the response time and the throughput and whatever error that happened. So here is customer service. You can see the throughput. It's a very high throughput and it's been running in the last few hours. Azure Spring Cloud is a fully managed service for Spring Boot apps that lets you focus on building and running the apps that run your business without the hassle of managing infrastructure, monitoring, or automation, or app lifecycle, and so and so on. Thank you for watching.